there are a plethora of Disney dining options all across the Walt Disney World Resort, but there's also a ton of character dining options also featured all around the parks. And for today's episode, I'm going to be talking about character dining at Walt Disney World. Hey, you guys, my name is Maddie, and welcome back to the Magical Memories with Maddie podcast. And as I said, this episode's going to cover the dining plan. A little bit. <laughs> this episode's going to cover the character dining that you can find. I'm going to tell you where you can ha- eat. Um, that's character dining. I'm going to tell you, like, if it's in a park, not in a park. I'm going to tell you when it's open because some of them may not be open for all three meals of the day. And I'm going to throw in whether or not it's one table service credit or two table service credits in order to eat at this place because that is a very vital thing to know if you're eating on the Disney dining plan. And yes, I will recap the Disney dining plan table service credits. If you are on the Disney dining plan, you get one of, you get this each day when you're on the uh, when you're at the parks, you get a quick service meal per night of stay, a table service meal per night of stay, a snack or non-alcoholic beverage per night of stay, and one resort refillable mug. Also, things to note, beverages are included with each meal and guests under the age of 21 may choose from a variety of non-alcoholic beverages and guests over 21 may substitute for alcoholic beverages that doesn't have an additional cost unless it's like a specialty one that's not included. You can ask your server, of course. Um, guest age three to nine must order from the kids menu. The plan must be purchased for the length of stay and meals are non-transferable and expire at midnight on the day of checkout. So if you have any meals left over, you better use them. All right, a table service meal. So if you're doing a breakfast table service meal, because they do have breakfast options that you can do, uh, you get an entree and a beverage non-alcoholic or alcoholic of course like i said you have to be over the age of 21 to have alcohol or a buffet or family style meal and a beverage so it depends on the type of place there are a ton of buffet and family style restaurants on property at disney world um i don't think i have them noted for the character dining ones but i kind of know which ones are buffet or whatever so i'll just try to tell you Alcoholic beverages can be beer or cider, wine or sangria, mixed drinks, and specialty cocktails. And non-alcoholic beverages can be milkshakes, fresh smoothies, premium hot cocoa, soda tea, or coffee. Now, if you're eating brunch, lunch, or dinner, it's a little bit different for your table service credits, which is why you should do those options. So you really get your bang for your buck for your table service credit. Uh, You get an entree, a dessert, and a non-alcoholic beverage if it's a regular style meal. Now, if it's a buffet, you don't get dessert because most buffets have the dessert on the buffet line. If, I mean, in fact, they all do. So if you are doing a buffet or family style, you get that one option, one meal and a non-alcoholic beverage or an alcoholic beverage. If you are doing a buffet, you are definitely getting the most for your buck. And if it happens to be a character meal, you are definitely getting your money's worth out of the Disney dining plan. So let's get into where you can eat character dining at Walt Disney World. This place recently reopened. It's called 1900 Park Fair. I actually ate here for breakfast once, like many years ago, but the characters are no longer the same. So I decided not to include the pictures of the characters because they used to be like the British characters. Like it was Alice in Wonderland, Tigger, Pooh, Mary Poppins, like Mad Hatter, I think too. Like it was like those characters, which I thought was cool. And that's why I did it because I love Alice in Wonderland. But now they have different characters. And these are the same characters all day. And that was the other cool thing is at dinner time for 1900 Park Fair, it was Cinderella characters. Like it was the sisters, Lady Tremaine, Prince Charming, and Cinderella. So I'm a little disappointed that I never get to do that dining option because I didn't know they were ever going to get rid of it. But nevertheless, they have the new characters. Aladdin, Cinderella, Mirabelle, and Princess Tiana. And just so you guys know, this is the only 
place on property where you can meet Mirabelle at character dining option. Otherwise, you are waiting in a line to meet her just like everybody else. And character dining options are great for meeting characters if you have kids because it saves you not only the time of waiting in line, but you got to eat anyway. Now, this one is one table service credit, and it serves breakfast and dinner. Breakfast is in between 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., and dinner is 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. So, lunch is served here. Um, that is the time frames of when you can book your dining reservation. You can't get that whole time frame. You book your dining reservation within those time frames. This one is located in the Grand Floridian Resort near Magic Kingdom, and of course, Reservations required. All of these are reservation required, but some of them might be more popular than others. So you might can get walk-ups, you might can get last-minute reservations, but some of them you can't. This one might be popular. I'm not sure because it's still pretty new, but if you are staying on the monorail loop, it is very accessible to you. If you are not, if you're staying off, I mean, on Disney property elsewhere, um, it depends on what time your reservation is, but seeing as it doesn't open till 8 a.m., you could probably use bus transportation to Magic Kingdom and just hop on the monorail. The next option is Chef Mickey's. The characters here are Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Daisy. These are the classic characters. Um, this is one table service credit, and it's breakfast and dinner. Breakfast is 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., and dinner is 5 to 9.30 p.m. Those are times you can get reservations. This is located in the Contemporary Resort near Magic Kingdom, which means, as I said on the last one, accessible via monorail loop. Um, this one does open earlier, so it depends on what time your reservation is. But if you need to use Disney transportation and you want to use the buses, you can bus to Magic Kingdom and hop on the monorail. You could also, of course, for both of these, use the mini lift vans. Those are great options, especially if it's a little bit harder of one to get to because some of these hotels are like huge and the dining options are not like near where they're going to drop you off at. So this one's not a problem. Once you get into the contemporary, I think it's like maybe down a level. So yeah. Now, I've never done um, Chef Mickey's, but I think it's standard food. Um, 1900 Park Fair is uh, buffet style. I forgot to mention that. All right. Next is the Crystal Palace. This is where you're going to meet Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger. If you like the Winnie the Pooh characters, this is where you want to eat. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are here, and it uses one table service credit. Breakfast is 8 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. Lunch is 11 a.m. to 2.55 p.m., and dinner is 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is located inside of Magic Kingdom, so not only do you need that reservation to get to eat here, but you do need a park ticket in order to access to go here and eat here. The first two that I said, they are not located in a theme park, so you do not need a park ticket, but you absolutely need a park ticket to go to the Crystal Palace. Anyone that is located in the inside of a theme park, you need that park ticket. It, don't think that there's a, a, a trick that you can do that you can get into the park because you have a dining reservation. You cannot. You need a park ticket. Crystal Palace, I believe, is buffet style. But I, I don't know because I think it changed after COVID. All right. The Garden Grill is Chip, Dale, Mickey, and Pluto. This is a little Chip and Dale feast. I think it's called Chip and Dale's Harvest Feast. It's cute. Uh, one table service credit here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are the options. Breakfast is 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Lunch is 11.30 a.m. to 3.40 p.m. And dinner is 3.45 to 8 p.m. This is located in Epcot and the Land Pavilion. And I've seen pictures and videos of this. And it's really cool. You're in like a rotating like restaurant. And so you actually like rotate around the land. So every time you look up, you might be looking at something different. I don't know how big it is. I don't. It might be harder to get reservations here. Because I don't think there's a ton of tables. But this is a family style dining option, which means they bring your food to your table, but it's buffet at the same time. Um, 
I guess I should explain family style. So family style, they bring you like a big pan of food to your table. And if you do need more, you can get more, more food. Um, and I like the family style options because... You don't have to get up to go get the food. The characters come to you. You kind of just get to have a nice time. Like, I feel like sometimes you, uh, ha characters have to come back to you or you might miss a character because you were at the buffet. Whereas if you're at your table, no chance missing characters. I've seen people eat here and the characters keep coming like multiple times to the table. So it's really nice. Um, this one, of course, is in Epcot. So it requires a theme park ticket <laughs> as well as a reservation. <laughs> The next option is Ohana. Now, Ohana is breakfast only. I think this is one of the few options on property that is breakfast only. There is, I think, another one. Um, and I don't mean like it's breakfast only. I mean like only breakfast is the character dining option here. So you don't get the luxury of, oh, well, we'll do it for dinner. Dinner is like signature, like nice dining dinner. Um... And it is one table service credit for breakfast, and you can have your reservation anytime between 7.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. This is located at the Polynesian Resort on the monorail loop. So like I said, for getting to it, if you want to use Disney transportation, of course, friendly reminder, you can drive and park at these resorts if you are dining at any of them, as long as you stay within the time. I think you have a time frame of how long you can park before they'll charge you or something, but um, they won't charge you for parking if you have a dining reservation at these resorts if you want to get there a little bit quicker. Um, it just, you know, sometimes you fly and maybe you don't have a car. So just giving you the tips of how to get to it. And this, this is one of my favorite character dining options on property because it's Lilo and Stitch. You also get Mickey and Pluto and it's really fun. I ate here many years ago. I could not find pictures. Don't know where they are. But um, they have like, they play the Hawaiian roller coaster song from Lilo and Stitch. And they like, the kids get to get up and like walk around and shake like macaranas and stuff. It's really fun. This is a family style dining option. So they bring the food to your table and they have Mickey waffles, Stitch waffles. Yes, Stitch waffles standard breakfast food and hog juice which is my favorite thing on property i think they changed the name to lilioki juice or something because you can order that at like a little kiosk somewhere in the polynesian i did it last time i went but yeah that's really fun next up is storybook dining at artist point this location might be one of those that you need a mini lift fan to get to. That's that's what I'm going to say here for that. I've never been here, so I don't know where it is. But, you know, I don't really know Wilderness Lodge that well either. So, I think it's Port Wilderness, though. That it's the one that it's hard to get to. Like, if you do hoop to do a review. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, anyway. The characters here are Snow White, Evil Queen, Dopey, and Grumpy. So these are Snow White characters. And this one uses two table service credits regardless. And it is dinner, character dining only, um, 4 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. Uh, it's located at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So Wilderness Lodge is actually like near Magic Kingdom. I think you can take the ferry from Magic Kingdom to Wilderness Lodge. So if you wanted to do this for dinner on your Magic Kingdom day, that would be a great way to get there. Otherwise, I would drive and park or do the bus and then the ferry or whatever. Because um, the bus will get you closer than if you drove to Magic Kingdom and parked. Like, go to the resort and park, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, this one, I've, I, I don't know. I've never seen this one before. This one's pretty new in my mind, too. I think it's been at been available for a couple of years now but um i haven't really been focusing on character dining like i i used to know all the character dining options and i was like these are the ones i want to do da, 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 da. and there have been some that have popped up that i haven't really quite researched um and the only research i really get anymore for character dining is when the braun family tyler braun and his family go to disney because they got little kids and they like Topolinos and stuff. And that's how I even know about that one. So, yeah, I never heard of this one. But 
This one is really cool, but it does use those two table service credits, so this one might be the better option to pay out of pocket. Um, so, just something to think about, unless it's like your arrival night, or you're like, you know, you, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Next option is Akershush. I'm going to pretend that's correct. Okay, the characters here are Ariel, Aurora, Belle, Snow White, and Tiana. This is one of two princess dining options on property. For breakfast, it's 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. for when you could book reservations, and it uses only one table service credit. But lunch and dinner uses two table service credits. Lunch is uh, 12.15 to 4.40, and dinner is 5.25 to 8.05. This is located in the Norway Pavilion at Epcot, which means, yes, you need a park ticket. Now, there is no restriction on, like, what kind of park ticket you have. It could be a park hopper. It doesn't matter. As long as you can get to Epcot for your dining reservation, because you can park hop all day now, you are good. You just need to be able to get to Epcot. Now, I'm going to tell you some, some advice here. I think breakfast is the best option here. I've never eaten here. But this food is Norwegian. And breakfast might be a little bit more like American food you're used to. So breakfast might be the go-to for this place. I don't know, though. I don't know your taste buds. It's up to you. But also, like I said, it uses two table service credits if you do lunch and dinner. So if you're doing the dining plan, I maybe would think about it a little bit. Um, I just, I can't fathom up why people would want to use two of their table service credits. Because, you know, you only get one quick service credit per day. So that means like the next day, you only get your one quick service credit. Or... Well, maybe you get both because it rolls over. Yeah, you're going to have to basically wait for a table service credit to roll over because that's how it works. So, like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you want to do that? Anyway. Um, yeah. So, this one's in the World Showcase. And it's easily accessible via Skyliner, but it is still a bit of a walk because, like, you come in by France and Norway is, like, way over here. But um, you can do it if you're doing breakfast from the Skyliner. Um, you're more than likely, if you have a dining reservation and you have your park ticket able, if you have an early breakfast reservation to get in earlier than everybody else, just let the uh, people, the cast members know. Say, hey, I have a dining reservation I have to get to. And they will probably let you in. And then you can take pictures in an empty Magic Kingdom or whatever. Um, just keep that in mind. All right. Next step. Tusker House. This is in Animal Kingdom. So you do need that theme park ticket. This one is another one that is a buffet. I think Akershush is a buffet. Now that I think about it. Just because I forgot to tell you. Tusker House is Mickey, D Donald, Goofy, and Daisy. This is like Donald's safari bash or something uh, with his friends. And it is one table service credit. And it's lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Breakfast is 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Lunch is 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And dinner is 3.35 to 6 p.m. Of course, you need a park ticket to eat here because it's in a theme park. Um, Animal Kingdom does close earlier than the other parks. So keep that in mind from your day um, that, you know, you can't do a late, late dinner. You know, some of these, like, you can go all the way to, like, like, late times, I don't know, it depends on whatever, t like, the next one goes all the way to 8pm. Can't do that here, because they close early. Um, so, yeah. Now, I've never eaten here. I really want to. But I can't convince anybody anymore to do character dining, because I'm not a kid anymore. So now it's like, now you don't need to. And I'm like, but I want to. I don't want to stand in line to meet characters. All the kids are standing in line to meet characters, and it takes forever now. I used to have that problem. What happened? 
anyway. Um, so yeah, it's like African themed food and stuff because it's an animal kingdom. Um, this one might not be the best option for picky eater. So I would check that menu. I would check out some, uh, vlogs if you're thinking about booking it. Next is Hollywood and Vine. Now this one has a little bit of differentiation. So let's get into it. This one's in Hollywood Studios, so you do need a park ticket. For breakfast, it is Disney Junior, so characters. So if you are interested in the Disney Junior characters that they have here for your kids, this is the best place to eat. Um, now keep in mind, though, the characters are Doc McStuffins, Goofy, and Vampirina. So I don't know how new those Disney Junior shows are. Your kids may not even know who those characters are. So just look up the characters first. If, if if those characters have changed lately, I don't know, but I I think that's still the same characters. Um, and then lunch and dinner, it's Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto. But here's the thing: lunch and dinner is seasonal dining. So like, if you go at Christmas time, they're dressed up in Christmas outfits. If you go at Halloween time, they're in Halloween outfits. Like they are dressed seasonally, and so it may not always be available. Um, so you have to check. Breakfast is only one table service credit, and it's 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Lunch is 11.30 a.m. to 3.55. I put a.m., it's p.m. Dinner is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., and both use one table service credit each. Obviously, if you do lunch or dinner, you could do both in some day. I mean, up to you. I wouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um... Hollywood and Vine's a great option. This is another buffet one, I think. Um, like I said, I don't know. I haven't eaten here. I haven't eaten most of these. That's the sad part. <laughs> and if I have, like, I have eaten at Akershosh, actually. But I don't remember it because it was, like, 20 years ago. It's probably, like, fourth of the price now compared to now, too. I actually want to tell you guys with Cinderella's royal table. I'm going to tell you. I think I, I'm pricing. I remember my grandma telling me what it was once. But yeah. Um, great option for dining plan because it only uses one table service credit. And this is a great option if you want to do a seasonal dine. You want characters in those Halloween or Christmas outfits and you don't want to have to wait in long lines. You don't want to have to do a Christmas or Halloween party to do see those characters dress like that. Because typically they don't dress like that until the party. So that is a great option for that. Um, by the way though, Hollywood Studios does have a Christmas party. Should I do an episode on it? I might do an episode on after hour events. <gasps> I'm doing that. <laughs> All right. The next option is Topolino's Terrace. This one is located at the Riviera Resort. So if you happen to stay on that Skyliner loop, you can just hop on Skyliner to get here. Um, it depends on where you're coming from on the Skyliner. Uh, if you are staying at Art of Animation or Pop Century, you're going to get off at Caribbean Beach and go toward Epcot and just get off at the next stop of the Riviera. Do not go all the way to Epcot. You're just going to have to go back. Um, and then it's, I believe it's located like upstairs. People can direct you from the lobby, but the Skyliner is like outside. You have to get to the building. Um, it's not too hard to figure out. I love the Riviera Resort. It's very nice. So of course, ask, ask people for assistance. But once you get off the Skyliner, cause you got that part. Now this is breakfast character dining only. Character dining is breakfast is only at breakfast. Dinner is not character dining. Keep that in mind. It's a one table service credit. It's 7.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. though. For that breakfast time. So you can do brunch. And this is a great option before Epcot Day. Because sometimes Epcot doesn't open early. When I went back in 2021, we had an Epcot Day. And that park did not even open for early park admission until like 9 o'clock. Or 9.30. So like... If you get up early enough, you could go do a character dining before you go to Epcot. And it's all, it's like literally, you get on the Skyliner at Riviera and go to Epcot and it's the next stop. It's the back of Epcot, by the way. Keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, and this is one table service credit only, like I said. And it's Mickey, Donald, Minnie, and Daisy. One of the few that have Daisy, because most of them don't seem to. 
just disappointing because she's the best. Um, this one is, I think, like, to order, like, you get Andres and stuff. So, you know, great options here. I've heard about a breakfast pizza here. My LeBron keeps bringing up this breakfast pizza. Um, I need to stop <laughs> talking about Calibron. Um, I like I love their Disney vlogs, okay? And that's all I know about that. <laughs> I only have two more spots to talk about though, so it's okay. We got Cinderella's Royal Table. Now this one is the one of all of these that I would say you better have a reservation because you're not getting one once you get to the park. <laughs> highly recommended so this is in magic kingdom in cinderella's castle and this is two table service credits regardless of whether it's breakfast lunch or dinner and they do serve breakfast at 8 a.m to 10 15 a.m lunch is between 11 to 2 55 and dinner is 3 p.m to 10 p.m all the way to 10 p.m you guys now that depends on the hours of the park. If you are going during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, it probably will close early. They also have a note on the website that I didn't include on the blog post um, that if you want to see the fireworks, you want to leave about 20 minutes before the fireworks start so that you can get out because they block off the uh, way to get around the castle basically because of the fireworks. So if you want to see the fireworks and you're dining here at dinner time, think about that um yeah the characters here are cinderella ariel aurora jasmine and snow white um i think because it uses two table service credits if you're on the dining plan here i would do lunch or dinner because breakfast you will only get an entree and a drink and at dinner at least you get the dessert because they have great dessert options here that i've seen like they have like a chocolate glass slipper like they have great options here and you want to get most bang for your buck on your dining plan this is i think one of the few at magic kingdom like the table service restaurants where you can get alcohol so you can get alcohol I, anywhere you're eating if you can upgrade to get that alcoholic beverage if you're an adult do it that will make it more worth your dining plan promise so yeah this is in magic kingdom so of course you need a park ticket to magic kingdom I think it does, like, the characters, like, you see, like, Ariel, Aurora, Jasmine, and Snow White inside the, um, like, castle, and then C C Cinderella is kind of, like, sitting at, like, a little chair you get to walk up and take a picture with her, is how I remember it, and my grandma told me, like, when we ate here one time, it was, like, she said it was, like, $100 for five of us to eat here, and I think she was trying to say that, like, it was expensive. Maybe it was more than that. But I was like, that was kids' meals. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I couldn't even tell you when that was because I don't remember. Our last option is Cape May Cafe. This is uh, another one that is breakfast only. I think this is like the third one, though. Um, it only uses one table service credit and it is located at the Beach Club Resort. Um, the characters here are Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy. No Mickey. It's Minnie's Bash and she didn't even bring Mickey. What? Um, it's seven, for, you can get your reservation from 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Now, keep in mind, here's another thing to note. The Skyliner, if you're using the Skyliner to get to any of these that open that early, you may not be able to take the Skyliner that early because the Skyliner starts running about an hour before the parks open on the Skyliner, Hollywood and Epcot. And those don't open till like 9. So you probably can't start get on the Skyliner until 8 a.m. So if you do a super early dining reservation at anywhere you can access via the Skyliner, you might have to drive. You might have to drive. And if you have to drive, then you're going to have to move your car because they're not going to let you keep it there all day. So keep that in mind. But if you do have a late enough one that you can take the Skyliner, you can take it all the way to Epcot and then you can take a boat, I think, to the resort from that back of Epcot, like go over to the waterway to take a boat to Beach Club or you can walk. 
Um, the boardwalk is the closest option if you're walking from that Skyliner. So, like, you're going on the Skyliner all the way to Epcot. And then when you get off the Skyliner, don't go toward Epcot. Go the other way toward Boardwalk. And then I think Beach Club is, like, way, is like way over there. Um, they're all, like, nearby each other. But they are pretty um, far apart, I think. <laughs> so you might want to take that boat if you're doing that. But it's a great option. And you can take the boat to Epcot afterwards if you have an Epcot park day. So, yeah. That is the character dining that I have listed here. You also can meet, I, I think, take a picture with the Beast at, to be our guest. Um, I, I don't know if he does dinner only or anything. It used to be dinner only. But now that the Beauty and the Beast, it's lunch and dinner. Like, lunch used to be quick service. Breakfast and lunch used to be quick service at Be Our Guest. And that's how I've eaten there so many times. And then then they became, like, the same price as dinner. And so then we quit eating there. Because <laughs> we used to do lunch all the time at Be Our Guest. Because it was quick service. So it was priced like quick service. You just had to have a reservation. was literally the only requirement. But now it's not like that. So I don't really know how the beast, if the beast does lunch to you. I feel like it's probably dinner only, but I don't know. But yeah, um, so that covers the character dining at Disney World. I'm also going to do an episode on character dining at Disneyland, but of course it's going to be way less options because Disneyland is much smaller. Uh, I might just... You know what? Let's just look it up. And you guys will just get a bonus. <laughs> I just want to see how many options there are before I decide not to do it on this episode. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's only four. Okay. Let's do Disneyland, because why not? All right. So, they're in the theme park. They have the Minnie and Friends breakfast in the park. This is at the Plaza Inn. Lunch and dinner or breakfast are the options here. This is inside of Disneyland Park with views of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Ooh. The character dining is only during breakfast. That's what I wanted to know. Um, breakfast is 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oh, I guess I just don't serve lunch and dinner. But it looks like the characters are... Uh, like Mickey and friends. It's not telling me anything. So, yeah. And then they have three more options that are at resort hotels. So you do not need park reservations uh, or tickets to go to these. But um, yeah, we actually had one booked for Disneyland for Goofy's Kitchen. But the way our days got messed up, we ended up having to go to Universal on the day that we had it. So we didn't get to go. At Story Storytellers Cafe, they have two options. They have a breakfast buffet and a brunch buffet and i'm assuming brunch might just be like weekends this character dining is at storytellers cafe at the grand californian the grand californian seems to have most of the character options here i think i think all of them <laughs> that are like resorts um and you get to meet like mickey mouse and his closest pals and they have of course like mickey waffles and stuff so yeah But I'm seeing character dining listed here, but I'm not seeing the time because it says dinner only. So I don't know what's up with that. Disney princess breakfast. They have a Disney princess breakfast, you guys. It's so exciting. Um, this is also at Grand Californian. And this, this, I just want to say this. 
This starts at $142 a person. This is a very expensive option. This is at the Napa Rose restaurant, and you get to meet the Disney princesses. Mulan is even here. This is like all of the princesses. And it's $142, whether it's a child or an adult. There's no cheaper pricing for kids. All right. Fine breakfast entrees, as well as savory luncheon options. Ooh, they have Tiana's beignets. And they have, like, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Ariel's dingle, dingle Hopper vanilla cake pops. Y'all, that's adorable. So, I think I've watched the Braun family they ate here. They said it was very expensive. Um, you can get five hours of valet parking included with validation if you do dine here. But after that, they will charge you. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And this is a three-course breakfast. So, you get breakfast, like, appetizer, entrees, dessert. Very expensive very great ordeal. Finally, probably the cheaper option if you want to do character dining out to the park, Goofy's Kitchen. And Goofy's Kitchen, like I said, we we're going to have a reservation here. They serve breakfast, brunch, and dinner for character dining. And it's like Goofy and Mickey and, you know, all of those pals. And, oh, from August 23rd, October 31st, Goofy and the gang are dressing up in their best bewitching costumes. So they are Halloween themed and I think they might do Christmas themed too. This is also at the Grand Californian. <laughs> Breakfast is 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And it's a buffet. I think they're all buffets. And uh, dinner is 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Brunch is 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. But it might be certain days of the week. So I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah. Maybe it's just called brunch, but they are just, it's lunch. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Brunch is just lunch, but they serve breakfast and lunch. And I think that's when we were dining here was brunch time. Because we just had like a whole day we were just going to spend at the resort. But our whole trip got messed up. And that's, that's, that's a story for a different video. Yeah, that's the, that's the character dining options for Disneyland. Um, there's not that many. I didn't think there was. Um, cause Disneyland's not that big and I couldn't think of any besides Goofy's Kitchen. So I knew there couldn't be many. And then I remembered after I read them, I was like, oh yeah, I knew about these. So yeah, that covers the character dining at Disney World and Disneyland. Hope you guys enjoyed watching or listening to this episode, and I will see you guys for the next one next week. Have a magical day!